Welcome back to the Lost Facility Devlog series, and this will be the fourth episode in this series. And we'll be taking a look at blending terrains together. So all these project files will be available on Patreon. As always, this is an ongoing series, so the project files are continually updating, and I will make available as much as I can. It's also important to note that some of the stuff I actually covered in a couple of live streams that I did. So if you haven't taken a look at those, I would recommend taking a look at them and you can kind of see the processes that I tried that didn't work as well as the processes that we'll take a look here in this video that ended up working. So this is kind of where we're at right now. So we have our canyon terrain and then we also have this big large patch of ground here that we're going to end up placing our, our um, facility into. So let's go ahead and take a look at first how we went around kind of blending a couple terrains together so that we could bring this down to a height that's more in line with a kind of a flatter area. So let's take a look at this canyon floor too. So I took, I, I tried a bunch of different things in this process and let me actually just move this stuff over so that we can see a little bit easier. I tried a ton of different things that ended up working, some of them somewhat, others didn't work so much. And I ended up settling on this sort of a process. So we took our height field that we had here, which is just our canyon. And then I did a height field transform and I just moved it over just a little bit here. And then I'm taking a, another height field and this one is, let's see, this one's 1500 by a thousand. So it's a little bit, it's non, uh, non, non square, it's rectangular here. And then um, I've had this moved over a little bit. So you can see this little orange outline is where the terrain is and we're kind of off that a little bit. So it goes from here to here and then we're kind of off a little bit. So we're losing a little bit on this edge, but um, we're needing it on this edge. So if I take a look at the height field project here, we're just projecting the height here onto this height field. And actually I lied, we're not, we're not losing anything on this edge, just on this edge. Um, but this height field project allows us to project that terrain onto this height field. And then I'm doing the same thing with a second height field that I created in Gaia, which will also be available. And this one is actually something, actually I think I ended up moving this over to the, the final the final terrain with erosion and everything. But I take a height field transform and again, we're moving this over just a little bit. And then we're doing a height field project. And this one we do lose a little bit off the edge there, but I'm not really too concerned about that. If I really wanted to, I can bring that back and I, may end up doing that because I think I bring it a little bit closer to flat there. But it's not uh, super relevant because we can blend it in pretty easily regardless. So we project onto the same height field that we had before. And then we are using a height field layer to blend between the two. So it's set to blend, the blend mode all the way up and a layer offset of 71. That just brings this terrain up because by default, it is a little bit lower. Obviously, you can see that doesn't look too great. So let's just bring that back. And then I'm blending that with a mask here. So if we take a look at this height field project. We have this. And then I'm taking a draw mask to just kind of mask off some of this area. And then I'm blurring that out a little bit. And I don't, I want to be careful not to blur it too far because it'll reach this edge and then it creates a harsh edge that you won't like. So if you take a look at the draw mask, that's not too much there, but the mask blur, I've just set that radius up to 100. And then we're piping that into the third input of our blend. And that just gives us this nice blend between the two. And then I haven't really done much with this. I was testing out some different things, but the tile split, you can use this to split up your terrains. So all I've done here is just set this to a tile count of two by one. So it's basically just creating two tiles. So if I take a look here, it splits it right there in the middle. So we have one half there and our other half over here. 
and all you do is change the tile number. So this is tile number zero, and then this is tile number one, and we can end up merging those back together. And these are just converted. Um, and I was starting to play around with some of the mass by features, not really doing much, but this is gonna be how we actually use the mask to um, to texture our terrains, I, I think. That's my current process. Because by blending these terrains together, you kind of lose some of the ability to kind of make the masks um, super nice. So we'll kind of, we're using the mask from um, Gaia, I mean. So we'll have to make the mask all here in, in Houdini, which we can get some, some nice things in, in this as well. But let's go ahead and jump back out over to the canyon floor here because this is a little interesting. And I'm actually merging these all together. Uh, quite a bit going on here, but all I've done up here is actually just copied over the canyon. So everything that we have over here, along with these nodes, I've just copied over into this because I started to just kind of break it out and this is kind of how I work. I like to kind of make copies of the nodes and just kind of organize myself as I go. But I've broken this down into the canyon, so if I take a look here at this mass clarity, we should have the exact same thing that we had before. And then I am making the desert floor over here. And this is a little bit interesting. So I've got a couple of different canyon floors. So this, all I've done is just created uh, these inside of Gaia and there's just variations of the same, um, the same setup. So I, that project file I'll make available on Patreon as well, as well as the, the textures uh, to create these high fields. But we've got this, let's see. We're not getting any different lighting here. I don't have any lighting set up, but um, we just have this height field file in here. And then I am doing a few things with it. I'm kind of running it through a bunch of projections here. So I have a giant height field here that's four times this size. And I've transformed it over into the corner. And I've scaled it up just a little bit. So 1.1 on the scale here. And I'm basically making quadrants out of these and projecting those onto that flat terrain so that I can blend these together. I've also got a second height field here. So this one is just a little bit different. If I take a look at the two here, you can see they're just a little bit different, kind of hard to see here, but they are a little bit different. And if I take a look at our transforms, I'm setting this one to negative 500 and negative 500 in both the X and the Z. And then this other one is positive 500. X and the Z. So opposite corners, and then I'm doing the same thing with this other height field. So this one is 500 and actually, I don't think I, oh yeah, I did rotate this one. So I just added a little bit of rotation as well. It can help to break up some of the repetitiveness. Um, may not be necessary in every case, but I decided to in this case. And actually, depending on our, I forgot to look, we have our um, sand dunes here so that may not look too great may need to, to change that but I'm just projecting them back onto each other so I've taken this projection I've moved the second canyon floor up over into this quadrant scaled it up and I'm projecting that over which creates this harsh line so we're gonna need to get rid of that and we're gonna get that all across the middle so adding in another layer here and then our final layer over here and then I take that same canyon, one of those canyon floors. So I take this and I've scaled it up. It's just one of these two. I don't remember which one it is. One of these two, either this one or this one. Uh, I think it's probably this one actually. And I've scaled it up to uh, be the same size as our overall giant canyon here. And I am just blending that in. So if I take a look at our height field project, we have this kind of T-shape going through, which we don't like. And then with this blend, or this height field layer node, we get rid of that. It is a little hard to see the details in here. Um, let's see, I don't know if there's an easy way to do that off the top of my head to make it a little bit more visible, but I'm taking a mask on this canyon floor here, and I'm 
just kind of drawing out a T section. And this is just a hand drawn mask, so a little bit less procedural, but it works. And then I'm blurring this with a radius of 100. And I did play around with some different ways to, to kind of break this up a little bit. I didn't find a solution that um, worked really well. So I may play around with that more. I played around with it on stream. So if you're interested in that, you can kind of take a look at that. Uh, but I only messed around with it for a couple of minutes. And then we're using that mask in this height field layer. And that just, if I were to, let's see, I don't know if I can layer offset. It's kind of hard to see. Maybe if we mask clear. Yeah, so if I bring this up, you can see that we get, see where that mask is, is showing up on our actual train. But we'll leave that as default. And that just kind of breaks up that that T section where it's all projected up and has those harsh edges just to get rid of those. So we end up with something like this. And then I'm just converting that back to geometry. And I am moving this over just for temporary. I may, this may be the final kind of spot, but I've got this set up to where it is showing up on our terrain here, kind of blending together. And I'm not too worried. So over here, it's actually off of the, this canyon, you can see it's off of the uh, big kind of flatter area that we've got. Uh, this side's not too much, but I already know that we're going to place our, our facility over here. So as the canyon comes through, we're not really going to have an opportunity to see that this is off of the the ground there. So we should be should be all good there. We shouldn't have any weird sort of artifacts with that or anything like that or have it be super apparent. And this side, I made sure to bring it up enough so that it kind of blends in at least on this edge. And I may actually end up uh, just putting all of these terrains together. I'm not really sure yet. I haven't decided what I want to do if I want to keep it like this. I may not know that answer until we get to shading because some of these, like this transition here, let's see, kind of hard to even tell where the transition takes place. But I think it's right here, this transition edge, somewhere in here. I can't even tell. So we should be good. <laughs> but uh, the transition edge might give us some issues depending on. Um, the shading. So we'll have to play around with that. We may have to do some fancy things to get that to not be a, a visible like seam, but we'll see how that all ends up. But anyways, that is kind of a recap of what I did over this last week. Like I said, I will bring or I will make all of these files available on Patreon. You'll be able to download all of the uh, the project files, so this project file as well as the Gaia ones, as well as the terrains, uh, the EXRs for the terrains. Uh, so you can use those those terrains if you would like in other projects. But anyways, hopefully this helped you out. We'll continue on with this project. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. I know I'm having fun building out this project and looking forward to, to seeing where this ends up. I'm starting to hopefully pick up the pace, whoops, pick up the pace a little bit here on creating some of these things. I not sure I'm gonna have a ton of time this next week to, to work on stuff just because of uh, family birthdays and such. So I'm gonna be a little bit limited on time, but I'll try to make sure they cover at least something interesting in this, uh, this next week. But anyways, like I said, download the project files if you have uh, an interest in that, but follow along with the rest of this project. If you are finding it enjoyable, make sure to let me know. Uh, you can let me know in Discord if you have any ideas, anything that you would like to see, uh, any questions that I have that I didn't cover in this video, um, then you can go ahead and ask them there. So anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day. <laughs>